credited with ushering in the disco era with her 1975 hit Love to Love You Baby, Donna Summer is a compulsory inclusion in any retrospective on the disco generation. Her continued success in the singles charts with I Feel Love, Could It Be Magic, Bad Girls and Hot Stuff helped her become the first female artist to have four number ones in a 13-month period. However, as she recently revealed in her 2003 autobiography, that success came off the back of a physically abusive relationship and long-running battles with depression and low self-esteem. You know, I was going through a lot of adversity right up until that point, and then one day there was a knock at the door and everything changed. And I went from being a victim to being celebrated. And, and the mental adjustment and the internal adjustment did not follow that quickly. It took me years to bring that other person up to the standard of what was going on in my life. In 1989, her career rebounded with the help of British hitmakers Stock Aitken and Waterman. The resulting album, Another Place and Time, delivered her 14th top 10 billboard hit, This Time I Know It's For Real. Almost 20 years later, at the age of 59, she released Crayons, her first new album in 17 years. I'm trying to say with the, the word crayons is, is the analogy that I recorded every song this time is a different color, it's a different flavor, it's in another direction. There are no limits to where I'll go. You know, I have no restrictions, no boundaries. I'm just free. The album debuted at number 17 on the Billboard 200. The single Stamp Your Feet and remix of the song I'm a Fire both went to number one on the Dance Club chart. Crayons also featured Bring Down the Rain, a song she dedicated to the people enduring the tragic conditions in Darfur. And I've been very influenced by some of the work that George Clooney has done and, and other people that have gone to, to, into Africa themselves, physically gone there, um, and have uh, taken up the part of these people that are there. And I just wanted to do something that I felt could assist them in some way, musically, and hopefully I will be able to, um, get, I, I plan on dedicating this song, my portion of this song, to, to the people of Darfur. And now that she's back jostling for chart positions with women young enough to be her daughters, she's just enjoying the ride. I don't really think of myself as ever competing with the, I mean, they're young, you know, they're, some of them are doing it for the first time. I've been around, you know, once or twice or three times. Um, you know, I just, no, I don't. I don't feel competitive with it. I'm, I, I'm always rooting for them, and I always, you know, when there's an award to be won, I always pray that God will give it to the person that needs it the most.